Hi, I'm David Calibro, Curator of Eastern Christian Manuscripts at the Hill Museum and Manuscript Library. Today I'll share with you one of my favorite miniatures from a Syriac manuscript. The Himmel project number of this manuscript is CFMM 37. This is a manuscript on parchment from the Church of the Forty Martyrs in Mardin, in modern-day Turkey. This is a very important collection because it contains old manuscripts that were originally housed at the seat of the Syriac Orthodox Patriarchate in Deir Zafaran, outside of Mardin. This particular manuscript dates to the 13th century. Unfortunately, the page that originally contained the colophon with the date has been lost from the manuscript. But there is a dedication note that indicates it was created sometime before 1272. This is a gospel lectionary or evangelion, or in Syriac, Furosh Karyone de Evangelion, a gospel book arranged according to the readings of the liturgical year. Here we see the opening page of the text proper, which contains the beginning of the reading for the Feast of Consecration of the Church, beginning with Kadnefakte in Yeshua la Thravoto de Chesaria de Filipos, Mishael Bol de Thalmide Vile, Kadomar, Manu omri nosho di thai brecht nosho. When Jesus went out to the regions of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, saying, Who do people say that I, the Son of Man, am? But before the opening page of the manuscript, there is a series of gorgeous miniatures and a decorative table of liturgical readings. The miniatures actually seem to derive from another manuscript that was created around the 10th century. This is one of the miniatures on the recto of folio 5. The bearded figure standing at the lower right, wearing a white turban and a red robe, is an interesting fellow to whom I'll introduce you. This is Abu Ishaq. The Syriac caption above his head identifies him as Mor Abu Ishaq, Sovo, Konyo, Dachtovo, Hono. Mr. Abu Ishaq, Venerable One, owner of this book. So this is none other than the proud owner of the manuscript to which these miniatures were originally attached, evidently the one who commissioned the manuscript for himself. Leroy suggests that this may be the same Abu Ishaq mentioned by Bar Hebraeus in his ecclesiastical history. This was a Christian lawyer in Baghdad who one day found the corrupt Catholicos Abraham counting the money he had obtained through bribes and Abu Ishaq was so disgusted that it created a rift between them. In any case, this is a very rare example of a picture of an ordinary person who lived in the Near East about a thousand years ago. The miniature shows Abu Ishaq addressing the Virgin Mary, asking her to intercede for him with her son Jesus, who is shown at the top right. Jesus holds a scroll in his left hand, while his, with his right hand he makes a gesture used in Eastern churches when bestowing a blessing. Around the figures are Greek captions in silver and Syriac captions in gold. On the two sides of the Virgin Mary's nimbus is the Greek abbreviation for Mater Theou, Mother of God. And to the left of Jesus is another Greek abbreviation for Jesus Christos Nika, Jesus Christ is victorious. For the gold writing in Syriac, we have a caption above Mary's head that reads, Yoldath Aloho, which means Mother of God. This reflects the Greek caption in silver. And then it goes on, Maurevo Naf Shlemor, Wahediath Ruh Baloho Mahion. My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior, which is the beginning of the Magnificat from the Syriac Peshitta in Luke 1, 46 through 47. Then to the left of Jesus is another caption, which says, Yeshua Mishiho, uh, which means Jesus Christ. And this is, again, uh, almost the same as the Greek uh, lettering in the silver. And then between Abu Ishaq and Mary, in front of Abu Ishaq's mouth is what Abu Ishaq is saying to the Virgin. And it reads, Eth kashaf mavarachto v'yoldath aloho li hidech v'neth raham al avdo dileh abus haq 
Entreat, O blessed one and mother of God, your only child, that he have mercy on his servant Abu Ishaq. And above Abu Ishaq's head is the caption that we already saw, Hono mor Abu Ishaq, sovo konyo dachtovo hono. I love the way that the gestures in this composition create lines of sight that reflect the three speech acts that are being portrayed. The owner of the manuscript is supplicating to the Virgin Mary. Mary is entreating her son Jesus, and Jesus is blessing the owner. The sizes and positions of the people also reflect their relative status. Mary is much taller than Abu Ishaq, and Jesus is at the very top. To find other manuscripts like this that have gorgeous miniatures, you can do that in the Himmel Reading Room if you go into the search menu and go to the field that says Features, and in, in that field you can click on Miniatures and select Miniatures, and then if you want to limit it to Syriac manuscripts, go into the Languages field and select Syriac, and then search, and you'll find lots of great examples. And last slide, here's some information about Himmel. Feel free to visit us at www.himmel.org.